as part of Park Road's commemoration and celebration of Black History Month, you may have read the book The Undefeated in your classroom. As an extension of your reading of The Undefeated, it's now time to do some fun library research. Your job is to decide which of the individuals in this video, all important individuals from Black history, you would like to learn more about. Let's get started. This is Augusta Savage. Augusta Savage was a sculptor during the Harlem Renaissance whose art studio, Savage Studio of Arts, was important to many artists at the time. In 1939, she created Lift Every Voice and Sing, a 16 foot tall sculpture of a harp for the New York World's Fair. For her sculpture, in place of the harp strings were 12 singing African-American children. This is Erin Douglas. Erin Douglas was a painter, illustrator, educator, and major figure in the Harlem Renaissance. Using African-inspired imagery in his murals and illustrations, he depicted social issues around race and segregation. He was part of the Harlem Artists Guild and helped to start the African-American modernist movement. He also founded the art department at Fisk University in Tennessee, where he taught until his retirement in 1966. This is Barack Obama. Barack Obama was the 44th president of the United States. He was also the first black president of the United States, and he served in the role of U.S. president from 2009 to 2017. Prior to becoming president, he was elected to the Illinois State Senate and the U.S. Senate. In his first years as president, Obama passed a health care bill that provided better care for the poor. In 2009, he won a Nobel Peace Prize. This is Althea Gibson. Althea Gibson was a professional tennis player and golfer. She was the first person of color to win a Grand Slam title in tennis. Overall, she won 11 Grand Slam tournaments and was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame and the International Women's Sports Hall of Fame. This is Benjamin Banneker. Benjamin Banneker was a farmer, mathematician, astronomer, and surveyor. In 1971, Banneker helped plan the boundaries of the District of Columbia, otherwise known as Washington, D.C., the center of the United States government. Banneker also wrote a book of facts called An Almanac. This is Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman was the first licensed African-American woman pilot. She toured with U.S. air shows as a stunt pilot, and her performances and speeches made her famous. Coleman made plans to start a flight school for African Americans, but sadly did not live to carry out that wish. She was killed in 1926 during a test flight in which her airplane crashed. This is Bill Russell. Bill Russell is a former professional basketball player often referred to as one of the best players in NBA history. As a center for the Boston Celtics, he led the team to 11 NBA championships over 13 seasons. He was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1975 and received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2010 from President Barack Obama. This is Billie Holiday, whose real name was Eleonora Fagan. She is one of America's greatest jazz singers and songwriters, known for her raspy voice and her influence on generations of American musicians. She was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1973. This is Booker T. Washington. Booker T. Washington was an educator and activist and the founder and first principal of the Tuskegee Institute, a school established to educate newly freed people and their children. Booker himself had been born a slave, but was set free with the Emancipation Proclamation by the year 1865. As principal of the Tuskegee Institute, Washington became a powerful leader and speaker, advising U.S. presidents and working towards helping African Americans earn equal rights. This is Candace Parker. Candace Parker is a WNBA, Women's National Basketball Association, professional basketball player for the Los Angeles Sparks, although she's recently signed with the Chicago Sky. 
She was named WNBA Rookie of the Year and MVP in 2008. In 2016, she contributed to the Sparks, winning a WNBA title. Parker is a five-time WNBA All-Star and has won two Olympic gold medals. This is Charles Drew. Charles Drew was a doctor known for his research on the liquid portion of blood, called plasma, and for setting up blood banks. During the early part of World War II, Drew organized many blood bank programs. He and other doctors helped save millions of lives by developing methods for storing blood and shipping plasma overseas. This is a picture of Claudette Colvin as a girl when she was arrested for refusing to give up her Montgomery bus seat to a white person. Claudette Colvin is an African-American civil rights activist. As I just mentioned, in 1955, when she was 15 years old, she was arrested for refusing to give her seat up to a white person on a public bus in Montgomery, Alabama. Later that year, Rosa Parks was arrested for also doing so. Claudette Colvin's arrest and filing of a legal action helped change the laws in Montgomery and the United States. Segregation on buses was ruled unconstitutional. In later years of her life, Colvin worked as a nurse's aide in New York City. This is Colin Powell. Colin Powell was appointed the first African-American U.S. Secretary of State in 2001. He was also the first African-American to serve as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff under President George H.W. Bush. Additionally, he was a general in the Army. In 1991, Powell received the Springarn Medal, a medal given by the NAACP to an outstanding African American. This is Condoleezza Rice. Condoleezza Rice served as the first African American woman U.S. Secretary of State from 2005 to 2009. Prior to that, she was President George W. Bush's National Security Advisor and was the first woman to hold that post as well. Additionally, from 1993 to 1999, Rice served as the first woman and first African-American head of Stanford University. This is Coretta Scott King. Coretta Scott King was a supporter of civil rights as well as a trained concert singer. She was the wife of civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. Mrs. King helped her husband in his civil rights work by giving speeches and musical programs. She was also president of the King Center in Atlanta, which works to remember and celebrate her husband's achievements. This is Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington was one of America's greatest composers, was an accomplished pianist and band leader of a jazz orchestra, and was one of the most instrumental figures in the history of jazz. In 1999, he was posthumously awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Music. This is Edmonia Lewis. Edmonia Lewis was the first professional African-American and American Indian sculptor. She became an internationally acclaimed artist in the years after the American Civil War and Reconstruction. Lewis was notable for incorporating themes relating to the Black experience and Native American culture. A number of her sculptures are now part of the Smithsonian American Art Museum in Washington, D.C. This is Ella Baker. Ella Baker was a civil rights activist who encouraged the use of peaceful demonstrations against racial discrimination. She was actively involved with many civil rights organizations, such as the Young Negroes Cooperative League and the NAACP. Baker worked with civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. towards equality for African Americans. In 1960, she helped young activists form a civil rights organization called the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. This is Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald was a jazz singer sometimes referred to as the First Lady of Song or the Queen of Jazz. She collaborated with musicians such as Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington and received both the National Medal of Arts and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. This is Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass was born a slave, but escaped to the North when he was 20 years old. He became a noted reformer, author, and orator, devoting his life to the abolition of slavery and the fight for black rights. 
In 1845, Douglas published his autobiography, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass. In 1847, Douglass moved to Rochester, New York, and founded an anti-slavery newspaper called The North Star. Douglass also led a successful campaign against segregated schools in Rochester. His home was a station on the Underground Railroad, which is the system that helped runaway slaves reach freedom. This is Gabby Douglas. Gabby Douglas is an American gymnast who was one of the stars of the 2012 Summer Olympics in London. Douglas became the first African American in Olympic history to win a gold medal in the individual all around championship. She also won a gold medal in the all around team event. This is Garrett Morgan. Garrett Morgan was an inventor who invented the traffic light and also versions of the gas mask. He also worked as a sewing machine mechanic and owned his own tailor shop. In 1816, his gas mask design saved the lives of more than 20 workers who had been trapped in a smoky tunnel in Cleveland. This is George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver was an American scientist. He became famous worldwide for his research on soil and crops and was best known for his work with peanuts. He made more than 300 products from peanuts, including face powder, printer's ink, and soap. This is Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron was a Major League Baseball player for the Milwaukee Braves and the Milwaukee Brewers. He hit 755 regular season home runs during his career no one was able to match his record for over 30 years. Aaron received the 1976 Spingarn Medal, an award given each year to an outstanding Black American. He was elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982. This is Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman helped hundreds of slaves escape to freedom. She became the most famous leader of the Underground Railroad, she was never caught, and she never lost a slave in her 19 rescue trips. During the American Civil War, Tubman served as a nurse, scout, and spy for the Union Army. During one part of the war, she helped free more than 750 slaves. This is Henry Asawa Tanner. Henry Asawa Tanner was an artist and the first African-American painter to gain international praise for his work. He received France's highest order of merit in 1923 because of his work, which mostly dealt with biblical themes. This is Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson was also known as the Galveston Giant. He was the first African-American world heavyweight boxing champion. Despite facing racist press at the height of the Jim Crow era, he successfully defended the title 17 times. This is Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson was the first African American to play modern Major League Baseball, spending all 10 years of his career with the Brooklyn Dodgers and serving an important role in the desegregation of sports. In 1956, Robinson received the Spingarn Medal, given annually to an outstanding African American. He was elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. In 1997, Robinson's uniform number, 42, was permanently retired. This is Jacob Lawrence. Jacob Lawrence was a painter best known for his work showing the Great Migration, the period from 1916 to 1970, when African Americans in the South migrated to the North. This is James Harden. James Harden is an NBA player for the Brooklyn Nets. In the 2016 to 2017 season, he became the first player in NBA history with at least 2,000 points, 900 assists, and 600 rebounds during a regular season. Harden was a member of the U.S. team that won the gold medal in men's basketball at the 2012 Summer Olympics, and he was a member of the U.S. team that won the Basketball World Cup in 2014. He has also been named the NBA's Most Valuable Player. This is Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is one of the greatest wide receivers in football history. 
He was known for his speed, strength, and ability to make difficult catches. He set many NFL records and helped the San Francisco 49ers win Super Bowls in 1989, 1990, and 1995. Rice was the most valuable player in the 1989 Super Bowl. This is Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens was a four-time Olympic gold medalist in the 1936 Berlin Olympics. He was considered the fastest man alive during his lifetime, and his athletic victories helped shatter the myth of white athletic superiority. This is John Lewis. John Lewis was a politician and prominent civil rights leader. He was the representative for Georgia's 5th Congressional District. As one of the big six leaders, along with Martin Luther King Jr., he helped organize the March on Washington in 1963, and he participated in the 1965 march from Selma to Montgomery. Lewis was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2011 by President Barack Obama. This is Kadir Nelson. Kadir Nelson is an artist, illustrator, and author. He gained recognition for his expressive, colorful, detailed artwork that illuminates stories from modern Black life, Black history, and Black culture, some of which has been featured on the cover of The New Yorker. As the illustrator of the book The Undefeated, written by poet Kwame Alexander, Nelson received both the 2020 Coretta Scott King Award for Illustration and the 2020 Caldecott Medal. This is Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is currently the Vice President of the United States. Before she was elected, she served as Attorney General of California and as a U.S. Senator from California. She is known for fighting for women's rights and voting to help immigrants. Not only is Harris the first woman to become Vice President, but she is also the first Black American and the first South Asian American to serve in this role. This is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was one of the great centers in basketball history. He was known for his sky hook, a high curved shot from the side. He led the NBA in scoring in the 1970 to 1971 and 1971 to 1972 seasons. He was named the most valuable player six times. This is Katherine Johnson. Katherine Johnson was an American mathematician who worked for NASA. She made many important contributions to spaceflight, including helping to calculate the path of the first human spaceflight and calculating the path for the Apollo 11 moon landing. In 2015, President Barack Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. This is Kwame Alexander. Kwame Alexander is a poet and children's book author. He won the 2015 Newbery Medal for his novel, The Crossover and the 2020 Newbery Honor Medal for his picture book, The Undefeated. He has written many other influential books, including his 2020 poetry book, Light for the World to See, A Thousand Words on Race and Hope, which explores the issue of racial inequality and celebrates the power of hope. This is Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes was a poet, novelist, playwright, and a major figure during the Harlem Renaissance of the 1920s. He was best known for his realistic writings about black life in America. He helped establish a magazine for young black artists called Fire. This is LeBron James. LeBron James is a professional basketball player, often named as one of the greatest to ever play the game of basketball. He has won three NBA championships and is the Cleveland Cavaliers all-time scoring leader, the NBA all-star game career scoring leader, and surpassed Kobe Bryant to become the third highest scoring player in NBA history in February, 2020. This is Louis Latimer. Louis Latimer was an American inventor and draftsman. He contributed to the development of incandescent electric lighting, working for Thomas Edison. He also taught himself drafting and mechanical drawing, and in the mid 1870s provided the drawings for Alexander Graham Bell's patent application for the telephone. This is Lonnie Johnson. Lonnie Johnson is an engineer who invented the Super Soaker, a powerful toy water gun. Johnson attended the Tuskegee University and earned degrees in medical engineering and nuclear engineering. 
He has conducted research for the United States Air Force and NASA and is the founder of his own engineering company. This is Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong was a trumpeter, composer, singer, and actor and is considered one of the most influential figures in jazz. He was an active musician from the 1920s to the 1960s, spanning decades and eras of jazz. In 2017, he was inducted into the Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame. This is Madam C.J. Walker. Madam C.J. Walker was the first African-American woman to become a wealthy business owner. She operated a successful cosmetics company, the Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company, during the early 1900s. Walker increased her wealth through real estate investments and gave much of her money to causes that helped African-Americans. This is Mae Jemison. Mae Jemison is an American engineer and doctor who became an astronaut and was the first African-American woman to travel in space. In 1992, Jemison flew on the space shuttle Endeavour, spending eight days in space and performing many scientific experiments. She has also worked on the improvement of healthcare in Africa and advancing technology in developing countries. This is Marian Anderson. Marian Anderson was a famous concert singer. However, because she was black, Anderson was treated unfairly. In 1939, she was not allowed to sing in a concert hall in Washington, D.C. Instead, she sang outdoors at the Lincoln Memorial, and over 75,000 people came to hear her. Also in 1939, Anderson won the Spingarn Medal, which is awarded every year to an outstanding African American. She was a United Nations delegate in 1958 and won the UN Peace Prize in 1977. This is Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and activist, as well as one of the most well-known spokespeople during the civil rights movement. He was best known for his support for nonviolent civil disobedience, the Montgomery bus boycott, and his I Have a Dream speech. In 1964, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Sadly, he was assassinated in 1968. This is Matthew Henson. Matthew Henson was the only American who went with explorer Robert E. Peary in 1909 on the last part of Peary's trip to find the exact location of the North Pole. Henson continued traveling on exploring trips for a total of more than 20 years as Peary's assistant and dog sled driver. This is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is a retired professional basketball player for the Chicago Bulls and Washington Wizards, who is often referred to as the greatest player of all time. He fueled the success of the Nike Air Jordan sneakers first introduced in 1985 and is currently the owner of the Charlotte Hornets. He became the first billionaire in NBA history in 2015. This is Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama was the first lady of the United States from 2009 to 2017. She is the first African American to become first lady. Before becoming first lady, Obama worked for a group that encouraged young people to consider careers in public service. She later became director of community outreach for the University of Chicago Medical Center. As first lady, Obama spoke out on issues that affected military families, and she also helped lead a nationwide campaign to fight childhood obesity. This is Miles Davis. Miles Davis was a jazz trumpeter, band leader, and composer. He is considered one of the most influential figures in jazz and 20th century music. Throughout his 60-year career, he helped to shape the course of music many times. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2006. This is Misty Copeland. Misty Copeland is an American ballerina. In 2015, she became the first African-American woman to be named a principal dancer with the American Ballet Theater. The same year, Copeland danced and sang in her first Broadway performance in the musical On the Town. In 2018, Copeland appeared in her first feature-length motion picture, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. This is Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, born Cassius Clay, 
was known as the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. He was a professional boxer and activist and is one of the most celebrated sports figures of the 20th century. His records remained unbroken for 35 years. During the Vietnam War, he refused to be drafted due to his religious and political beliefs and was arrested and stripped of his boxing titles. He appealed the decision to the Supreme Court and he won. This is Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey is an American television producer. In 1973, Winfrey became the first African-American woman to host a TV news show in Nashville, Tennessee. She went on to host The Oprah Winfrey Show from 1985 to 2011. Winfrey is also an actress and received an Academy Award nomination for her role in The Color Purple. In 2000, Winfrey received the Spingarn Medal, a medal given each year by the NAACP to an outstanding African American. This is a statue created of Phyllis Wheatley, since when she was alive, there were no real photographs. Phyllis Wheatley was born in West Africa and sold into slavery as a child. She was the first published African female poet in America. Her book, Poems on Various Subjects, Religious and Moral, was published in 1773 and was praised by George Washington himself. This is Ralph Bunch. Ralph Bunch was a diplomat who helped form the United Nations, which is a world organization that works for peace. Bunch is well known for arranging an agreement to end fighting in Israel in 1949. That year, he was awarded the Spingarn Medal, an award given to outstanding African Americans. In 1950, he became the first African American to win the Nobel Peace Prize for his work. This is Reese Whitley. Reese Whitley is a competitive swimmer who specializes in the breaststroke. At 15 years old, he won the silver medal in the 100 meter breaststroke at the 2015 FINA World Junior Swimming Championships and he is considered a big name in the future of U.S. swimming. This is Romare Bearden. Romare Bearden was an artist whose work often portrayed African-American communities. In 1987, he won the National Medal of Arts. This is Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks fought to gain equal rights for African-Americans. She was known for her role in a boycott of the Montgomery, Alabama bus system. Parks' actions helped start a movement that led to increased equal rights for African Americans in the United States. In 1979, Rosa Parks received the NAACP's Spingarn Medal. This is a picture of Ruby Bridges when she was a young girl. Ruby Bridges was one of the first African-American children to attend a white public elementary school in the Southern United States, William France Elementary School in New Orleans, Louisiana. Police officers walked with Bridges on her first day because many angry people were waiting at the school. Some parents of white students took their children out of the school. Many teachers also walked out. By the time Bridges was in second grade, more black students attended the school. This is Serena Williams. Serena Williams is a professional tennis player. She has been ranked number one by the Women's Tennis Association eight times between 2002 and 2017. She also holds 39 Grand Slam titles and is the winner of four Olympic gold medals. This is Cheryl Swoops. Cheryl Swoops is a retired professional basketball player and was the first player to be signed in the Women's National Basketball Association, or WNBA. A three-time Olympic gold medalist and a three-time WNBA Most Valuable Player, Swoops was inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in 2017. This is Shirley Chisholm. Shirley Chisholm was the first black woman to serve in the United States Congress. She was a member of the House of Representatives from 1969 to 1983. Chisholm was also the first African-American and the first woman to run for president from a major party, although she did not win. Throughout her time in Congress, Chisholm worked to improve opportunities for residents of the inner city. 
She opposed the military draft and supported spending increases for education, health care, and other social services. This is Thelonious Monk. Thelonious Monk was a jazz pianist and composer. He is the second most recorded jazz composer and is famed for his unique improvisational style. During performances, he was known to stop playing to dance for a few moments before returning to the piano. This is Wilma Rudolph. Wilma Rudolph was a world record holding Olympic athlete who became the first American woman and first African American woman to win three gold medals in a single Olympics. Despite childhood illnesses and physical disabilities that kept her in a leg brace until she was 12, Rudolph was considered the fastest woman runner in the world in 1960. This is Zora Neale Hurston. Zora Neale Hurston was a writer known for her portrayal of racial struggles in the South. Her most famous work is a book called Their Eyes Were Watching God. She also wrote a nonfiction book in 1931 about the story of the last known slave ship survivor, Cujo Lewis. This is Zora Neale Hurston.